Philippians chapter 2, verse 10 says, Every knee will bow and the, at, to the name of Jesus Christ. During one of the Crusades, Philippe Auguste, king of France, assembled all of his noble knights, and he encouraged them to be strong in battle. On the table, he placed his royal crown, bearing the inscription, To the most worthy, and he pledged it as a prize to be given to the bravest fighter. After the army went to battle and returned victorious, they encircled the table where the crown sat. And then one of the nobles stepped forward, lifted the crown, and placed it on the king's head, saying, You, O king, are the most worthy. The Bible says one day every knee will bow to the name of Jesus, everyone in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, and everyone will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And did you notice the word every knee will bow? In 2011, the Population Reference Bureau estimated that there were 106 billion people that had been born since the dawn of the human race. Well, guess what? Every single one of them will bow to the name of Jesus. Try to imagine all of those people, over 10 times the world's population, kneeling before Christ and saying, You, O King, are most worthy. And in that moment, Christ will assume his position, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. That's what Paul writes in Ephesians chapter 1. Then he, the author and finisher of all, will close the book on this life and open the book on the next life. That's the beginning of the unending story that we, the redeemed of the Lord, wait for and long for. Some will bow their knee in, uh, in sorrow before the Lord, having rejected Him on earth. But for those of us who have received Him, it will be a wonderful experience of praise and worship as we acknowledge just who He is. I'm Ray Jones, and that's another hard truth for your day.